Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Al-Hafi and I'm a Math Olympiad coach. In this channel, we'll be discussing the different topics that comes uh, in the Math Olympiad contests. So the first topic we'll start with is algebra and specifically we'll start with functional equations. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So the first technique we'll be looking at is the substitution strategy. And by substituting, we mean replacing a variable, for example, x or y, with a number, for example, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2. Uh, or we can even substitute with another variable. For example, we can replace x with y or y with x. OK. Uh, the first thing we usually start when solving a functional equation is substituting with small numbers. So we'll be discussing substituting with simple numbers, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, etc. So the first problem we'll be looking at is the following. Find all functions f from r to r such that uh, here we have the domain is the set of all real numbers and the range is also the set of all real numbers. OK, and the functional equation is the following. f of x plus y times f of x plus x equals f of x times f of y plus f of y plus f of x. OK, so that is our functional equation. Of course, it uh, looks horrible, but trust me, that's exactly why we start substituting. Because when we substitute, uh, we can simplify our equation. And the second objective is to evaluate some values, for example, f of 0, f of 1. So, OK, so let's start substituting. OK, so the simplest thing we can substitute in our equation is replacing x and y with 0. So let's start with this. We'll replace x with 0 and y with 0. For simplicity, we'll be using uh, a notation that simplifies this process. And you'll, you'll usually see this in the solutions of lots of the problems, uh, we'll be using the following notation, p, 0, 0. Here we means replace each x in the equation with 0 and replace each y in the equation with 0. So that's just for simplicity. So let's see what we will obtain. OK, p, 0, 0 gives uh, f of 0. And here we have f of 0. So those cancel each other. And this is 0. So we have f, f of f of 0 equals 0. So that's the first thing, the first piece of information we have. We have evaluated it, uh, the value of f of f of 0. OK, let's continue. Let's uh, substitute another pair. This substitutes 1, 1. Let's find uh, f of 1 plus f of 1. And here we have f of 1 plus f of 1. So it gets canceled. Uh, this is 1. So here we have another piece of information. f of f of 1 equals 1. So that's the second piece of information. So you see, we are evaluating uh, the value of f of f. But wouldn't it be nice if we can evaluate the value of f of 0 or the value of f of 1? Of course it would be. So let's try substituting with another pair. Let's try substituting p, 1, and 0. Uh, now we have f of 1, f of 1 here. OK, f of 1 plus 1 equals f of f of 0, which is 0. So that is 0. And here we have f of 1, uh, excuse me, f of f of 1. OK, f of f of 1. And of course, we have that this is 1. Cool, so now we have the value of f of 1. f of 1 is simply 0. So that's our first f.
Now we have evaluated the value of f of 1, and that is 0. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is that we can never solve a functional equation by replacing x and y with numbers. Because we can evaluate f of 0, f of 1, f of 100, but we cannot find a general formula for our function f. So at some point, we should start uh, replacing only x or only y with a value and keep the other as itself. So now we'll start replacing only one variable with a value. Let's start by replacing x with 1 and keep y as itself. So that will be p1 y. And now we have, here we have f of 1, which is 0. So that is 0. And f of 1 is 0, so that's all is 0. Here we have that is 1. So we have 1 equals, that will be f of f, f of f, uh, f, excuse me, f of f of y plus, that is 0. So plus f of y. So now we have a general formula which relates f and f of f. Okay, uh, one thing that we can conclude from this relation is the value of f of 0. Since we have f of f of 0 equals 0, so we have f of 0 equals 1. So now we can say that f of 0 equals 1. In fact, that is a useful relation because it relates f and f of f with each other. Okay, the next thing we'll be replacing is replacing y with 0 and find out what will happen. p, x, and 0. So now we have f of x, just f of x, f of x plus x uh, equals... Uh, f of x plus x equals f of 0, we said that it's 1, so equals f of x plus y is 0, so we have f of f of x. And guess what? Here we have f of x and f of x, so those get cancelled. So now we have the value of f of f of x, which is equal to x. So now we can say that f of f of x equals x. Okay. But at the same time, we have a relation uh, between f of f of y and f of y. Since we know the value of f of f, so we can uh, conclude what is the value of f. Uh, in this case, we have f of f of x, which is x, uh, plus f of x equals 1. So we have f of x equals 1 minus x. So now, the solution is simply f of x equals 1 minus x. And we're done. Or are we? In fact, we have forgotten one simple thing, which is to check that our function f satisfy the functional equation. So we need to substitute uh, in every position of f of x, we need to substitute 1 minus x and expand everything and find out whether our function satisfy the functional equation. If it does, then we're done. We have found the right solution. But if, it's, if it doesn't, uh, we simply say that there is no solution for the functional equation. Uh, there is no such a function that satisfy the functional equation. So I'll leave this task to you, my dear friends. Check whether the function satisfies the functional equation and tell me in the comments whether it does or it doesn't. So that was our first functional equation problem in the functional equation series. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.